Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to look at non-dimensional pi groups and introduce you to modeling and similitude. So this topic is a continuation of the previous topic on dimensional analysis, so we'll be using a lot of the concepts from the Buckingham Pi theorem. Now by this stage you've hopefully mastered the Buckingham Pi theorem and through all the questions you've done on dimensional analysis you may have picked up on a trend. Uh, what you may have seen is that different functions use the same pi groups. Uh, these are what we call standard dimensionless pi groups uh, because they are defined relations in fluid dynamics. So in actual fact the Buckingham Pi procedure can be simplified when we recognize variables that can be formed into these standard pi groups. So using the initial relation between the dependent variables and the independent, independent variables you can instantly create valid pi groups by recognizing how these variables fit into a standard pi group. So in this function I can see two variables with the same dimensions h and d. If I divide one by the other so h on d the dimensions of those will be l on l which is 1. So right there I've created a valid pi group and you can do this for for all all our pi groups as long as they are independent and we have end up with the number of pi groups that we're supposed to which is k minus r um, so we can continue this process to find how at k minus r pi groups in this case it would be one two three four five six seven eight minus three which is five we can create five pi groups uh, through this process but I would warn you to do this only when you're sure of it so just running through the standard pi groups, uh, we've got geometry based groups including the aspect ratio which is any length on a length, so h on height on width, uh, diameter on length, height on square root of area. Then there's four space groups. Uh, this here is Reynolds number which is velocity times length on kinematic visco viscosity or rho ul on mu. Uh, fruit number is velocity on square root of gravity times height. Drag coefficient is uh, 2 times the drag force divided by rho v squared a. Uh, lift coefficient is similar except using the uh, lift force. Uh, we won't see these much, so uh, drag coefficient we won't see too much, or we might see it more than lift coefficient. Uh, velocity based groups you won't see at all really, but we've got Mach number which is uh, velocity divided by speed of sound and we've got the Struhl number which is frequency times diameter on velocity. So these you won't really see, the main ones are the Reynolds number, uh, Froude number, to some degree the drag coefficient and of course aspect.